In this episode, I'm gonna check out Untitled UI. It's a Figma UI kit or design system that is completely built out for you to design your landing page for your SaaS or for any online service or product that you have. I'm gonna review every single part of this UI kit right now, and then I'm also gonna teach you how to build your own landing page using the components that they give you right out in their Figma file. Now, it's impossible to showcase every single little thing in this UI kit in just one video, so if you wanted to go ahead and try it out by yourself, then use the link in the description, and also if you wanna purchase it, also use the link in the description because because it is affiliated so that will support the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this UI kit. So this is the first thing that you see when you get on the actual Figma file or when you buy the Figma file, this is the first page that you see and it's the getting started, right? And then you got the thumbnail, a little separation and we start getting into the actual deep dive of this UI kit. You've got all the colors here, all the shadows, all the blurs and this is something that's gonna be repeated a lot in this video. It's the quality and the amount of variations that we have in this design system. And mainly something that you should know is that this design system System is mainly used for marketing sites. So it's a site that is exclusively to show your users what the product is about, and then that will take you to the actual web app or to the actual program to download, right? So this is just to entice your users to actually download it and to go ahead and check out your actual product. So in this design system, we've got all these colors and gradients that you can use at any time. And you can also check it out here on the right side if you check out the textiles. You've got display to Excel to text. XS, right? So what that means is these are all different styles at different weights that you can use throughout your design systems. And you will see that along here. So for example, all of these texts here are independently used by the system. So they're all each connected to one of these textiles. And that is kind of how this design system works, right? They're all interconnected in some way. Now let's go ahead and check out the landing pages or the marketing actual sites, because I think that's the most important thing here. And that's kind of the most entertaining, right? We don't really want to go look at the logos and those little nitty gritty things just right now. I'll do that later on in the video. So we're going to scroll all the way through all these components and you can kind of get an idea of how comprehensive this UI kit is here. But we're going to land on marketing website examples and I'm going to show you guys this section here, right? We've got landing pages, pricing pages, blogs, blog posts, about, contact, team, legal, FAQ, login, 404s. And within that, there's multiple sections for every single section, right? There's multiple variations for every section. And we can see that here, right? We've got different sections for the CTA, for the pricing, for the feature features for the blogs. Everything has multiple variations that you can use in your landing page. So let's go ahead and check out the first one, which is the landing page. Now, right off the bat, we see that there's at least like 20 different landing pages here. And that's kind of great because it allows us to see the amount of sections that we have here, right? So we'll go through the first ones and you're kind of going to understand how well designed this is. Now, without diving too deep just yet, take a look at how well spaced out everything is. Take a look at how well the colors match, how well it all interconnects here. We've got all these different sections that work together so very well because all the sections are designed together in mind, right? They all have the same idea that they want to be placed together at some point. So really the beauty of this design system here is that it can all work together even if you just kind of build them up like Lego blocks. And that's kind of how this is supposed to be built here. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour of the landing pages because there's so much to go over here that it's impossible to just dive in in like a 10 minute video. So we'll try to do this as quickly but as honestly as possible, right? This FAQ section here is really great because it allows us to display the information at a really simple and minimal way, but it still can pack a punch, right? You can still view all the information you need without kind of cluttering up too much. Over here, we've got this use of data or this kind of showcase of numbers here. And this is usually used to kind of gain confidence in your users, right? You want to show that it has a lot of integrations, a lot of global customers, whatever it is, right? And you can obviously use this to whatever you want. You can plug in your own numbers here. If I decide to type in 500% instead of 600, well, then that's just how easy it is. And then we can go ahead and take a look at the hero. And one thing to note here in this design system or this UI kit is that every single one of these screens comes with a mobile version. So whatever it is that you're building, you automatically have that in mobile version. And the beauty of that is that you don't have to think too hard on how things would scale between the tablet and the horizontal mobile and then the mobile. And that's really, really great because if you have the end version of both sides, right, you have the desktop and then also the mobile, you can kind of build it to be responsive to work between both. And that's really great because I don't have to guess on what this is going to look like on mobile if I decide to implement this into my website, right? I know that right here, I take a look and this is exactly how it should look. Now we've got all these separate versions here and really the beauty within this is that you can interchange all of these sections. So if I wanted to show you how exactly to do this, we would click on one of these sections here, like this feature section or this FAQ section, whatever you want to call it. You go over here to the variants, you click on type and then here you're going to see that there's all of these different variants. And right now I'm going to show you guys the beauty of this, right? So over here we've selected simple icons 
too. So let's see what happens if we click simple icons four. So now you'll notice that it automatically shrinked the entire page to fit this section that we're showcasing here. And that's kind of the purpose of this because if you're using auto layout in Figma, you can build responsibly for desktop, for mobile. And let's do the exact same on mobile, right? If we change it on the desktop, then it should look the same on mobile. So we're gonna go overhead and click simple icons four. And you'll see that it then shrinked up the entire page, right? And so now we have two matching sections here, which allow us to feature our information correctly in a really simple manner. Now, enough of the landing page, let's check out some of the other pages like the pricing page and the FAQs, the blogs, things like that. I'm gonna try to go over this as quickly as possible here so you guys don't get too bored, but let's go ahead and see this. So these pricing pages have a lot of different ways to display the same price, right? We've got a three tier system and then we've got the same three tier system, but with different columns, right? Or different rows, which allow us to see the different improvements between each tier. And that's something very valuable, especially if you're selling something like SaaS. Now, these are all, I guess, small variations of the same design here, right? Like we've got the selected version or the most used version, something that's very common these days, right? But then here we've also got two tiered systems. So what would it look like if you only had a basic plan and then a pro plan or a business plan? And then we've also got different versions, right? So if you wanted to have the actual cards be highlighted in your main color, if you wanted the cards to be mobile as well, we see what that would look like. So within the blogs, we see something very similar, right? We've got the same version of the blogs, but in different ways. Now you'll see that it's a bit empty because it's waiting for you to kind of go ahead and add in your own image. And you can do that easily with a plugin such as Unsplash or anything like that, but we're just gonna go ahead and check out the other sections. So we've got the blog posts, that's just current text, don't really need to take it out too long. We've got the about pages, which is really interesting. Now about pages are usually overlooked in a lot of design pages because it's just not usually the first thing that people see, so you think that you have to overlook it, but that's not really the case because people go to the about page to learn more about you, right? So it needs to be really, really well designed. Now moving on to the next section here, if you wanna take a look at the contact pages, now it's pretty much the same thing here. We've got the same thing that we're trying to design, right? Which is a contact page or a get to know me page, but it's designed in various different ways. And that's kind of the beauty of it, right? You have the beauty to interlock different pieces and you can really see how your design comes to life. We've got a team page. So what does your team actually look like, right? We've got all these different avatars that we can use. Obviously they're all placeholders, but you can imagine, right? You can get the picture. We've got the legal pages. So he's even designed legal pages that allow us to have a good looking privacy policy, a good looking terms page. And that's something that not a lot of people have. Then we've got FAQ pages, which are also overlooked sometimes, and it allows us to just have a very clean design here. We've got really great spacing between every section. Every div that you would build out in real life is greatly just exemplified here. And then we also have the login and the signups. Now these are pretty basic, but they get the job done and it just looks great at any point, right? So let's go ahead and check out how to actually build a landing page using these section or using these components, right? I'm gonna use the landing page here in the beginning just to kind of have a base to work out from, right? Because if not, it will take too long here. Now say that I like this hero, but I don't absolutely love it, right? So let's say that I wanna try just more, right? I have the option to try more, so why not? So we go ahead and click on screen mockup 01, and we see that it's shrank down just a little bit, right? So we have just that little difference in design. We go ahead into mockup two, and we have the same thing. Now we have the computer on the right side instead of in the middle. Now go ahead and check out mockup three, and let's check out mockup four, and then five, and then six, seven, eight, right? You, you you get the idea here. We have so many options here that we can just build out a massive landing page in just a couple of seconds. If we take this logo cloud here or the social proof section, let's say that we want it to be primary light, right? Or primary dark, then we can have the option to do that in just using variants. Now let's select the section here and say that we want simple icons number four instead, right? Like we just did in the past section. And then we want this quote section here to be a card instead, or we want it to be simple left aligned, right? Now we have that option. And if we go on to one more section here, right, we've got the center mockup 02. Let's say that we want center mockup 01. And then the beauty of this is that if you want to, you can just double click on anything. You can type on whatever you want and it'll change the text, obviously. And using auto layout, it'll automatically shrink and transform the page to fit whatever content you write on. Also, if you want to change this image to be whatever you want, you can just hold command and you'll click through the layers. You click on the actual block or you click on the individual layer here. And then you have the option of adding in your own image. You can disconnect the color. You can add whatever image you'd like, right? Right? you want it to be red instead, well then you can do that, right? That's how easy it is to just change up these things here. Now guys, you've seen the power of this UI kit. If you wanna check it out, use the link in the description so that you help out the channel while you're at it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.